I'm back in the office after a hectic week last week in Sydney at Microsoft Ignite The Tour. If you didn't see the special episodes from last week featuring Jason Han, Tanya Janka, Troy Hund, Oren Thomas, Damien Brady, Christina Warren, and so many more, go check them out now. There are some great insights into the Azure world in those interviews. On this episode of Azure This Week, I cover machine learning in stream analytics to detect evil doings, new Azure map services, yeah, you didn't even know they had maps, did you? Mm -hmm. And Azure DevOps Pipelines team have created an app for your Slack. I'm Ron Burgundy, and you are watching Azure This Week on the A Cloud Guru Network. Azure Stream Analytics seems to be going from strength to strength at the moment. Last week, I mentioned support for SQL database input, and this week, it goes full Arnold Schwarzenegger and helps you fight the evildoers. Stream Analytics now use machine learning to detect any anomalies in your virtual machines, IoT, and other cloud services. Based on a sliding window of events, the algorithms look out for anything that doesn't fit the standard behavior. The functions operate by establishing a certain normal based on what they have seen so far. Outliers are identified by comparing you know, against the established normal within the confidence level. They are usually identified as spikes and dips, but could also be slight increases over time that eventually turn out to be an anomaly. With built-in machine learning based anomaly detection capabilities, see that 10 times fast, Azure Stream Analytics reduces complexity of building and training custom machine learning models to simple function calls. Two new unsupervised machine learning functions are being introduced to detect two of the most commonly occurring anomalies, namely temporary and persistent. This feature is now in public preview. Most people don't know that Azure has a mapping product, but yep, they do. A number of services are moving from public preview to general availability, and these include route range, get search polygon, and satellite and hybrid imagery. Nothing really too exciting, to be honest. But the cool new features are that the Android and web SDKs are out, which enables developers to make smarter, faster, and more informed decisions. Azure Maps is now also natively integrated with Azure Active Directory, which is pretty damn cool if you think about it, making access to services more secure while enabling roles and restrictions to Azure users. The new preview of Azure Maps spatial operations will take location information and analyze it on the fly to help inform of ongoing events happening in time and space enabling near real-time analysis and predictive modeling of events. These spatial operations include a number of services that will make it easier to use Azure Maps for spatial features. Try out Azure Maps using the link below. More than 130,000 companies and organizations use Slack as a way to communicate within teams, between colleagues, with customers, and much more. They have 8 million daily active users as well. It is particularly popular with tech companies, and that is maybe why the Azure Pipelines team have created the Azure DevOps Pipelines app for Slack. It lets you set up and manage subscriptions for completed builds, releases, pending approvals, and more, and get notifications for these events in your Slack channels. To start using the app, check out the documentation in the link below. And we're done. The flow of Azure news seems to getting back into the normal amount, which means there's a lot more than what I covered though. Which was machine learning in stream analytics to detect evil doings, use the built-in anomaly detection to know when something unusual is happening to your resources. New Azure Maps services, which include Android and web SDKs, as well as new spatial operations. And Azure DevOps Pipelines team have created an app for your Slack. It lets you keep an eye on all your builds and releases. And as always, if you have any questions, suggestions, dance moves that you want to share or ask, reach out to me directly via Twitter or use any of the Cloud Guru's social platforms. Until next week, keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus. Mm -hmm.